Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In my previous session, we have seen how to work with urgent request in Postman application. So, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to perform post operation with the help of a Postman tool. So, basically, post is like when we want to create any record or perform any creation operation in, in a database or in server. So, we need to use post operation to save the details of an user or an employee into particular environment or a database so in a practical way if suppose if you are having any application for enrollment so user is going to provide the details in the front end so these details will be taken by the APA and it will send the data to the respective servers over any database so we'll see with an example here I will create a new request with the help of new button on the request give the request name as post if you have any description, just mention the description which is an optional field. And I am using the sample collection which I have used earlier to save my request. So here I will take one sample post request from the request. Here it is. So this is my target URL which I need to submit in URL field of postman. Update the method as post. So and enter your target URL into the URL field. So here along with post URL, so we need to submit body as well along with our target URL. So we need to copy the details of Office who is a leader. So in the body field, we need to provide the body information. So here we have of items available so like form data form and url encoded raw binary and draft well. so these are types of bodies which are available so if you want to send the form data so which is in the format of image or text so here we can see it is like the text or file so which acts up the form data to the body part so whereas if you have any uncoded data you want to send with the URL, so you need to select this option and provide the key and values. If you have any raw information, so you need to select the raw information and here we have a drop down with the text, JSON, XML, JavaScript and HTML. So these are based on your body presentation, just you need to select this. So currently I am using the body in the form of JSON format. So I am pasting it here, which is JSON format. So along with it, and I have another field called binary. So this is, if you want to send the information in the binary format, so you can use this binary option and we need to select the file. So here we can select the images or text files or any format of files which is not in the format of text as well. So if you want to use GraphQL queries, you can send the help of this GraphQL option. So currently I am using the raw format which is in the JSON format which I am going to post the details of a user with the name and a join. So click on send. Now this will now this will process this post request and provide the output as like this saying name, job, ID and created information time and date. Along with that, it will show the response code as do not for successful transaction. So now I am sending this request. So once the request is processed, we can see the response in the bottom session with the status showing as do not for create. You can see the created ad field and a unique ID or generated table 4965 and with the time stamp like this. So like this we need to configure the data of Postman and its body. So and another thing in header session based on the selection of JSON or text or HTML headers will get updated content type field. If you are want to update it or overwrite it you can update directly here or by default the Postman will auto assign the value of content type based on this post selection.
So here we can see the content type is updated as application slash assignment. So like this we need to configure our post request in Postman 2. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more sessions on Postman 2.